guys, it's Mrs. V. So today we are going to trace our art, okay? So we have a nice outline on our art. And I want you guys to pay special attention to these little shapes that our overlapping shapes have, shapes have made. So if I have like kind of a triangle shape with a round edge, I have kind of a half moon shape here. So you should have some kind of odd shapes or shapes made from overlapping shapes, okay? So you should have some of those left. If you don't have any, add a couple more shapes to your picture to make sure you end up with some overlaps. You end up with these little spaces that are overlaps. Okay, so you guys can use either a Crayola marker, a Sharpie marker, or even a black crayon is fine as well, as long as it's something that is dark and you can see really well. So we're going to trace over our pencil lines so that we can get a nice dark outline so we can get ready to color. So what you're going to do first is you're just going to start outlining all of your shapes. And you can either decide like, oh, I'm going to outline all my squares first or all my circles first, or you can just go by shape by shape. But notice I'm drawing really slow and really careful so that everything is nice and neat. And I'm keeping my hand nice and flat on the paper so that I don't get too many wibbles or squibbles or wavy lines. Go back up to the top, trace down. And even me, I'm going, like I said, really slow. So you guys just wanna go really slow when you trace. Make sure you get all of your, and if it's not perfect, like I had a little bit of a wiggly line right there, that's okay too. We're going to try to make it as neat as we can. So I'm going to work on this kind of bottom section of my paper first. And I really don't know if this is the top or the bottom just because I never really kind of made that decision. So kind of nice about this artwork is you could look at it from this way, 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 which is kind of cool. So it doesn't really matter. So again, we're just gonna trace nice and slow. <clears throat> and if there's any other lefties out there, if you're tracing, make sure your marker's dry before you lay your hand on the paper, or you could always work at this end first, which is usually what I do. And then work over. I don't know if there's any left-handers out there. And just connect those and make sure all your shapes are connected. So if you have a shape like this and you've traced it, make sure you get that little section in there. So make sure you connect everything so it's a solid shape. I know sometimes if we're trying to get stuff traced sometimes because tracing is kind of I find it very kind of just relaxing and kind of just tracing and it's kind of oh see so I, even me I had to go back and fill that in sometimes we'll forget little spaces or we'll end up just like I did right there have kind of a open space that we need to figure out all right I'm just going to turn my paper so I can easily more easily get to these shapes just because it helps. And I'm going to take that line right off of my paper. And you guys too can turn your paper, make it easier so you can bring stuff closer to you, right? There we go. Get my triangle in there. And then my last little circle right here. All right, Oop, I'm gonna connect that and just make it a little bit neater there. There we go. All right, 
So everything is traced now. It didn't take too long. So I'm going to get an eraser. So you guys are going to want to use an eraser to trace or to erase, not to trace, to erase your extra pencil lines. So I'm just going to start here. Now I know this is dry and I kind of will sometimes give my paper a couple minutes or like a minute to just dry, especially if I'm working with a marker. So if I go to erase, I don't end up with a smudge mark. Because we just work so hard drawing and tracing. You don't want a smudge mark on our art. That would be a bummer. Right? Like, bummer. And I'm pulling my paper down nice and tight so it doesn't wiggle because I don't. Uh, that's what happens. She gets so wiggly on me. And it goes all over the place and I have to like, oh, that doesn't work. So make sure you hold your paper down nice and tight. Use your muscles. Use those muscles. Erasing is always a little bit of an arm workout, right? All right. Okay. So now we've gotten all of our pencil lines erased. Be a detective. Look, see, oh, I missed one little guy right there. All right, so I'm gonna take this and just shake off the eraser dust. That's just gonna get in my way, quite frankly. All right, so we are gonna use a combination of crayons and markers for this one. If you just have crayons, just use crayons. If you just have markers, use markers. Um, I would say if you have crayons and markers, you try to use both. So. I talked to you guys about the funny shapes, right? So these funny shapes. So the part that when they overlap, that's what happens. So funny shape, funny shape, funny shape, funny shape. We're going to pick some funny shapes to color. So we're just going to color those funny shapes that are used from, made from the outline to color. Okay. So I'm going to start with a marker. Okay. I'm going to test my marker. Some of my markers were getting dry. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. So I'm going to start off with this little funny shape right here. So I have a triangle and a circle. And I kind of get this kind of little tiny triangle made when they overlap each other. So I'm going to outline that little shape right there. And then color in. Now, I want to use some different bright colors. I know I want to use this pink again. So I'm going to just pick another funny shape to outline. All right, so I'm going to pick another funny shape, like I said. So this time I think I'm going to go with this one right here. Just kind of this, kind of like, almost like a rectangle, but with a curvy edge. So I'm going to draw right next to my black line to create a border or an outline. To stay nice and tight to that black line. And then I'm going to color in. And what's nice is when you're coloring these little little shapes, you can either use back and forth coloring like this, and I'm coloring pretty small, or you can use little circles. That is kind of a nice way to color things too. And by creating that little border, we have created a little area where we don't have to worry if we're going to go outside of our shape. Because we are going to add more color, just not right this minute. All right, so I'm going to go with another funny shape right here. This is made when the triangle and the circle overlap. So I'm going to create my border or my outline. And I'm just using little short strokes. And then I'm going to fill this in. So notice I'm not coloring any one shape solidly. So I'm not coloring this whole triangle. I'm only coloring the part that overlaps, okay? So I've done three overlaps so far. So you should have three funny shapes made from your overlaps colored, okay? Three. All right, I'm gonna take this bright green color. I'm gonna test my marker, like I said. Oh, that one's pretty good, okay? And I am going to pick some overlap shapes. So I'm gonna go with this one right here, this kind of, again, triangle with a curve is made from the triangle and the circle overlapping. So I'm just going to create my 
border my outline and then color the middle. Nice and solid and it's looking pretty good. All right, so then I'm gonna pick another funny shape. I think I'm gonna go with this kind of, it's a rectangle, but it's still a funny shape because it's made from two shapes overlapping. So we got that funny shape. It's not super funny, but like this is a really funny shape. This one's, he's just kind of funny. And then I'm gonna color that in. Okay, so again, I'm only coloring the overlap parts. That's all I'm doing right now. I'm gonna switch my color. All right, I had to go grab some more markers. I was running out. Okay, so I'm gonna do this purple. It's gonna be my next shape, so I'm gonna check it. Always a good idea to check your markers. I'm gonna go find myself a funny shape. So I think I'm gonna do this funny shape right here, which is when a the triangle and the circle overlap. So I'm going to color that right there. And oh, my marker's a little scratchy, so that means I gotta go over this coloring part a couple times. Just to make sure it's, it gets colored. I'm gonna do one little more funny shape in this purple. Create my border. And then color in. I'm gonna switch to crayons now because I haven't used any crayons yet. So, and I'm going to grab a crayon, one of my favorites. And I'm gonna find a funny shape for myself. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this one right here. And this is kind of a scarlet red orange, so it kind of would look pretty with this pink. So I'm gonna find a funny shape, circle and triangle, make this funny shape. And I'm gonna still do the same thing. So I'm gonna make a border with my crayon or an outline and then color the middle, nice and solid. Okay, I'm gonna find one more, I think with this particular color before I move to another color. I'm gonna use this, kind of it looks like a stretched out really tall letter D. So I'm gonna use that, it was made when the triangle and the circle overlapped. So that's my funny shape pick for right now. Go around like this, color down, and then fill in. That's a really pretty color, I like that color. So I think I'm going to use some, I haven't used any yellow yet, so I really think I need to. So I'm gonna find myself another funny shape, you guessed it, funny shape. We're just coloring our funny shapes right now. So I'm gonna do this funny shape that was made when our semicircle, or look, it is a semicircle, when our circle and our rectangle overlap. So again, I'm gonna color just the little funny shape and fill the rest in, outline it and fill it in. All right, I haven't done any green yet, which is surprising because green is my favorite color. What? Oh, no, I have done green, green marker. So I haven't used green crayon. So I'm not gonna do green right now. Blue, haven't done blue. So let's get some blue going on. All right, let's see. Sometimes Mrs. Migliati gets sidetracked and has a hard time picking colors. Okay. I don't know if that happens to anybody else. When you get so, you're like, oh, I really want this color or this color. And you get kind of sidetracked a little bit. Cause you're like, ooh, that would be a pretty color. All right, so I have a blue green, which I kind of like. So I'm gonna find another funny shape. So I'm gonna do this other semicircle right here. It looks like, again, a stretched out letter D. So that is the funny shape that happened when a circle and a triangle overlapped one another. So, and I'm gonna make my border. So I made my border, my outline, and now I'm just gonna fill in. And I'm pressing hard and coloring small so that it can get that color nice and bright and super pretty. Oh, and I'm gonna do one more in this blue. I almost put it away. Um, I'm gonna do this funny shape right here, which again, it's a rectangle. It's not really that funny, but that's okay. So this shape was made when the rectangle and this, the triangle overlapped one another. So you kind of have to be a detective and put your detective glasses on and find those funny shapes. All right. So I think we're doing really well. 
So I'm gonna say I am done for today, because we did a lot. We traced all the shapes, we erased all the shapes, and we colored one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, about 12 shapes. So if you have a little more or a little less, that's okay too. What you guys wanna remember is we're not coloring our whole picture today, just our funny shapes. So make sure you go in and you color your funny shapes only for today. Next time we meet, we'll do more coloring of our funny shapes and finish some more of our art, okay? So again, I have about 12 funny shapes, right? Which are made when things overlap each other. And I colored those today. All right, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day and enjoy the beautiful sunshine. Bye, guys.